Fora TV. The world is thinking. Most Muslims who live in America are secular Muslims. In, Amer in, in, uh, in America, yeah, and in, even 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 in Iran. I mean, I I have a huge family, and, and out of my family, I have one family member who practices Islam. I mean, for everybody else, it's a cultural. Yes. Uh, it's a cultural base. And, you know, in, in America, the way Muslims are always depicted, every time there is a Muslim on TV, it's always somebody who looks like he's never laughed out loud, loud in his life, you know. And, um, mm. I mean, I'm, I'm a typical secular Muslim hockey mom, and you never see a me on TV. Mom. You know, it's... Um, and you can see Russia from your... <laughs> I can see a big persimmon tree from my window, <laughs> but you know, I think I think it's a huge disservice to Americans because th whenever there is a Muslim on TV, I, I, s I look at that person and I think I would not want that person to be my next door neighbor. Mm. And uh, I think it's it's interesting. You know, I've been traveling the country for five and a half years, giving speeches. I give keynotes. I speak in colleges, and I have never had national press. And every time. You know, someone says, well, why, you know, why, why isn't the, the news covering what you do? And the truth is, what I do is considered soft news. It's not interesting well, from it, the point of view of sort of violence, is it? You're it's not, not scary. Violent. I They're think scary, um, right? that's the problem. Mm. And, you know, shared humanity is considered soft news. But mm. if I were, if I'd written a book about hating a group of people, I guarantee you would have seen me by now on television. That's right. That's In fact, I have, um, a few years ago, when my when Funny and Farsi, my first book, was a finalist for the Thurber Prize in American Humor, I was scheduled to be on CNN. And I was hugely pregnant at the time. And I was thinking, the camera adds 10 pounds. I'm already 186, so 96, you know, uh, you know widescreen TV. But I, um, I put all vanity aside. I went and I got a cute maternity outfit and a huge scarf thing, because I was thinking, you know, bring the attention upwards. And then the day before, I got bumped. Um. And I tuned in the next day because I wanted to see who they bumped me for. And they bombed me for, they, they bombed me, they um, bumped me for an author who'd written a book about uh, suicide females, female suicide bombers. Right. And I was so upset, not just because the outfit was non-refundable, but <laughs> because I thought, you know, here we go again, you know, having something about the Middle East that is frightening. And I remember whenever my American friends would come over to my house when I was growing up, they were always surprised at, at like how funny my father was. They never expected that. I mean, like, you know, a Muslim man. What do you guys think of? You know, mm. not humorous. And, mm. and, and, I, and, and when I grew up, I realized that people really have this very incorrect image. And a very narrow what, one. Very narrow.